The Ridgeline pant from 511. This is a fairly new offering from 511. I had a lot of requests to do a review on these pants and I checked them out. They look like a pretty decent pair of pants, so I picked one up and here I am with my thoughts on them for all of you. Overall, it's a pretty, pretty good pair of pants with one major flaw, which I will of course get to in a little bit. Get the basics out of the way on these pants. They are an expensive $74.99. They come in four colors, Battle Brown, which is this, Field Green, which is like an OD, Stone, which is similar to Khaki, and Storm, which is similar to Charcoal. Waist sizes in 28 to 44, lengths in 30 to 34. The overall idea for these pants was that they had sort of a more casual look to them, but still retained a lot of features of some of the other 511 pants. That said, you know, the, the cut of them is fairly kind of like a, sort of like a khaki kind of pants, but with this ripstop fabric, there's really no mistake in them, I think, for kind of sort of a pair of a version of tactical pants. Between the, the fabric and the four colors that they come in, you know, they just have that look to them. They're not gonna look like a pair of casual pants. For comparison, the fabric, it's the 6.8 ounce ripstop fabric. These are my Flex Tacs, same battle brown color. So if you have these, you'll be very familiar with the fabric. It's kind of this stretchy. The fabric is very comfortable. I love it. If you can see in the, the video here, the, the Ridgeline pants are just a little bit darker. The Flex Tacs I've had for a lot longer. They've been washed a bunch of times and they are fading just slightly, so you can expect that from these darker pairs of pants. If I had these to get over, because one of the reasons I got these pants was I wanted something that was a little bit more casual looking, and this color, the Battle Brown, is, you know, like I said, it looks kind of like a pair of tactical pants because of the color of the ripstop. Uh, any, certainly any trained eye is gonna see that. Untrained eye, I don't know. But I would have liked some more, better color options. Why not a black? Why not something, you know, just kind of more normal for that matter? But otherwise, the fabric is great. Super comfortable. Same as the Flex Tax. If you have those, you'll be familiar with it. Let's have a look at the construction. The waist up here, it is just a non-stretching, single, regular waist, just like a normal pair of pants. There's no stretching, no elastic. So buy the size that fits you. I say they run pretty true to size. I wear a 32. I bought these in a 32, and they fit pretty well. The length is pretty good as well. I've had some experiences with some of my 511s running short. These actually did pretty well in a 32-30. The tag here, they are made in Vietnam, if you're interested. Belt loops, there are four and three in the back. They will hold a two inch belt. Interestingly, this rear belt loop looked smaller to me. I didn't think it would take a two inch belt. However, here is a two inch belt. Fits fine through these with a little bit of play and fits fine through this middle one and back here. So they'll take a two inch belt if need be. And I appreciate that there's a large belt loop in back here instead of two single ones because I always miss one of them when I'm doing that. The front here, there's a button, 511 logo on it. Brass YKK zipper with the usual 511 small zipper tab, which always invariably gets stuck down in here when I unzip them. I hate that with the 511s. I wish they would get a big, bigger zipper pull. No secondary closure here, just a single closure, which is fine with me. Never mind that. Onto the pockets. These pockets are designed sort of a jean cut. Here they go straight across. They're reinforced with cordura nylon here where your knife is gonna go. And then just below them there is a cell phone pocket. And one of the ideas of these pants with the design being more casual is that there's no cargo pocket down here. So these pockets are pretty decent. Decently sized, depth wise, eight and a half inches or so. Opening is about five and a half. However, here is the one big glaring problem of these pants. I've seen other people complain about it. I noticed it within the first 10 minutes of putting these pants on. So you take your cell phone and you fit it down to this pocket. This pocket is deep, six inches deep by four inches across, and it swallows it. It's great, it's easy to get to, no problems. However, when you start putting stuff in those pockets, I usually carry a knife and a pen in my right front pocket. So you put the knife up here, the knife goes right down over that opening. Here is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Here is a Benchmade Triage. Here is my Tough Rider Precision Press Pen. Over on the other side, a Hinderer XM18. And if you're gonna put something small in there, like a Surefire EB1 Backup, not as big of a problem. But, but it goes right down over this pocket and you can't get into it. 
I don't know. They need to send me some some of these things to beta test because I picked up on this right away. I mean, so you can put those inside the pocket like that, but I don't want to slide my cell phone in over those things. If this pocket was down an inch more, it would have been fine. I get the idea it's trying to look kind of casual, but it just does not work here. If you're so the place where this would be okay, if you don't put stuff in your pocket, and I usually have a flashlight in my left front pocket, which tend to have a, a shorter clip, and I usually put my cell phone here at work, I put my, my work cell phone here, it just doesn't work. So big glaring problem. I don't know how they did that and didn't catch it, how the beta testers didn't catch it. I need to be a part of that program. Otherwise, they're useful pockets if you're not gonna put anything up here with a big clip. They've got these nice quarter clips here. Not gonna take a lot to go down over there. All right, enough of my rant on that. Moving down, the crotch is gusseted, as are all good pants. A little extra ease of movement there. The knees have some articulations on the lateral side, right here, so a little bit more ease of movement. And then the bottoms, just a plain bottom. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy there. On the rear here, two patch pockets, sort of a jean style design. And then up on the side here, there are two pockets which measure about three inches, three and a half inches by five inches. And they say this is useful for putting a 308 magazine or here's a AR magazine in. Hold it about like that. We'll try this when I put the pants on and see how they fit. Or a pistol magazine, however, it's gonna swallow that pistol magazine down in there. But it'll hide, it actually probably wouldn't be too bad to get to. I don't really carry my extra magazines there. But you could if need be, so just one more area where they're taking these pants, taking a casual design and add some of their extra features to them. There's the basics of the pant. Let's go ahead and throw them on and take a look at the fit. Let's have a look at the fit of these. Forgive the wind, it's kind of a windy day out here today. But I like the fit of these pants. They fit very well. They've got a lower rise to them, so they're gonna sit a little bit lower on your waist. And I think that helps lend to the more sort of casual look to them. The pockets, very easy to get into. The front pockets, the rear pockets, the jean, the patch pockets. Putting stuff in them. In my front pocket, I usually have my wallet and my cell phone. And it's very easy access in this cell phone pocket here, whatever else you want to put in there, swallows that phone. My wallet and phone actually sit next to each other. My wallet over here, my phone back here, so that can actually work pretty well. Hides them pretty well and they're pretty comfortable. Looking at the rear pockets, if you want to put some magazines in here, put an AR magazine up here. It does pretty well. You can get to it, easy access there. If you want to put a pistol magazine, a 12 round M&P magazine, hides it right down in there. It does pretty well. It's not going to be a fast draw for it, but you can get to it. Not too difficult. Now let's look at the problems I was talking about up here. So this pocket here has the nylon, quarter of nylon protection here so that when you put your knife into it and your pen, it's going to protect it from it. Pocket's not going to wear down as much. However, you can see it goes right over that pocket, sealing it up. Yeah, you can pull this down here, but again, I don't want to be putting my cell phone in over these clips there. On the other side, I usually carry my flashlight over here. Put your flashlight in here, and here's, this is another small problem, but I put my flashlight in and it's running into my phone that sits right here. I can route it back behind, not a huge deal, but again, if you just move these pockets down an inch, it would have solved all these problems. My phone, my flashlight sits down to about here, my phone comes up to here. You know, if you've got a smaller phone like an iPhone, it might not be as big of a deal. But again, move the pocket down an inch, It'll solve the problems with your knife and your pen and everything sealing up the pocket. It'll solve problems with things running into your phone that might be in the pocket. Take care of all the problems. Otherwise, I really do like the fit of the pants. Do I recommend these pants? You know, I think if they come out with a Ridgeline 2.0, with really the only change they need to make is move these pockets down an inch or so, I think that'd fix all the problems. They're great pants. Otherwise, the fit is great, the fabric's great. Also come out with a few more colors. There's only four colors, all of which do look kind of tactical for what it's worth. Otherwise, they're great pants. So check them out if you think they're worth it, they're expensive, or maybe wait for a few modifications from 5.11 that will hopefully come down the road. Ridgeline pants from 5.11.